Okay guys, so Sable and Gizmo are actually in the process of reading, so by the title obviously you're going to see some reading going on, and if you don't want to watch that then I'm sorry, then you can just watch a different video, but you can still turn off the sound so you can listen to the volume. Um, so, um, when you first get your gerbil breeding pair, you want to make sure that they have never been together because if they have been together like in the same cage or anything then they might actually be related and obviously you don't want a gerbil that's related I mean you don't want a gerbil parent gerbil parents to be related because then that could form um deformitation deformitation whatever it can cause the pups to be deformed and yeah so, um, so the first thing that you will notice when you see Sable and Gizmo is that he chases her all around the cage, and this is called the pursuit, when he chases her around, and then she finally, the next step is the submission, is when she submits to him and kind of delays herself and, um, kind of perks up her hindquarters to him when, to show him that she is ready to breed, um, so, you gerbil breeding pair, when you get them, obviously you don't want them to be related, and then you want them to be over seven, or six or seven months, because although they can have pups at six or seven weeks, you don't want that, because that can be seriously harmful to your mama and baby gerbils. And, yeah. So, you want um, them to meet in an unfamiliar area, and if one's been in a tank before the other, or something in a cage before the other, um, then clean out that cage completely and then put them together. And they will most likely mate within a month. You can't expect them to mate right away. It doesn't work like that. They have to be together for a period of time. Like, you don't want to just have a child with someone that you don't know or that you just met that day, um, it just, in every animal, it doesn't work like that, um, so, obviously, if you don't want that to happen to you, then, oh, he's cleaning her, <laughs> if you don't want that to happen to you, then you don't want that to happen to your gerbils either, because that's just weird, they want to know that they can trust the purse, um, the other gerbil, um, then you want to make sure that there are plenty of hiding spaces and that when you're first spawning them, for the first, I would say, three or four days, you want to either do split cage or make sure that you're watching them when they're together because um, when a gerbil first meets another gerbil, they might fight. With these guys, they actually fought twice before they bred. And if you're wondering, their letters are down. They only had one, but I had another gerbil that was given to me, and she had um, three pups, and so all together that was 12 pups, because my babies had 11, I mean 11, <laughs> um, my babies had nine, and yeah. So I'm just, I'm sitting on a stool, so it's just, yeah. Um... So yeah, like I was saying, just make sure, what was I saying? I don't know. But, um, so, just, oh, make sure that you watch them and everything, because they might fight, even though one's male and one's female. It just, it's, it just works like that. Um, you want to make sure your gerbils don't know any other gerbils, unless, like, they were at the store with them, if they were their siblings or whatnot, because obviously that's nothing that you can change. Um, hey baby, hey baby, um, but yeah, make sure that your dribble hasn't been with any other dribble when it's been with you or when you're planning on breeding it, um, so yeah, and then, let's see, um, Silly girl. 